Hi there, my name's Andrew, and today I wanna to teach you four short memory hooks or mnemonics for remembering all of the non-indicative regular verbs in Koine Greek. When I say non-indicative verbs, I'm talking about imperatives, subjunctives, infinitives, and participles. In this video, I'm gonna go straight through all four of the mnemonics. If you want a more detailed explanation of how to go from the memory device to the paradigm you're trying to remember, check out the video on each of the stories themselves. Mnemonics are like training wheels. Eventually, you wanna take them off. But in the process of learning a language, it can be really helpful to map those paradigms, those kind of abstract sounds that you're trying to recall in a particular order onto something that is a little more memorable. Let's start with the imperative. Our trigger for this is it's a story about an imperative. The father says to his son, boy, it's imperative that you don't eat that. But later, the father sees that the food has been eaten. So he says to his son, oh, where, oh, son, is the food? Did ye et it? And the son says, ooh, yes. And so as punishment, the son sat beside his sasta for 30 years, that is true. That's the imperative story. In there, you've got all the sounds you need to form all of the regular imperatives in the present and in the aorist tenses. Let's turn to the subjunctives. Our trigger for the subjunctives is the word maybe. Now we remember that because the subjunctive mood is about possibility and potentiality. And in this story, aorist, is trying to copy the end of present's work. Aorist says to present, maybe I'ma just copy the end of your work. But when present sees what Aorist has done, he realizes it's way too similar. And he says to Aorist, Aorist, that is so, so my work though. Right there, you've got everything you need to form all of your regular, present, and Aorist subjunctive verbs. For infinitives, we remember a rap called the infinitive bop, and it goes like this. I've got pain med side effects, can I stop? Say yes thigh, give me no sass thigh, a perfect plain thigh will do, and then I'll stop, stop, stop. Do the infinitive bop, bop, bop. We've got everything we need for imperatives, everything we need for subjunctives, everything we need for infinitives, Last of all, participles. You can't spell participle without party. For this, our trigger is we remember receiving a party invite from a princess named Sasa. However, quite surprisingly, the invites were really unstylish and full of typographic errors. You see, I've got my own Vusa on font. So when Princess Sasa used sans serif in the invites she sent. Of course I thought it was queer because I'd always said she's caught style. Oh man, sir, man, man. They said they are gonna fix it then, then toss out all the old ones. Their typographic sin consumed 323 consonants. There in that little story is everything you need to build any of the regular participle forms. So that's our four mnemonics. The imperative from the father to the son, don't eat that. The subjunctive maybe, the infinitive bop, and the participle party invite. Now go check out the videos on each of those moods for an explanation of how to remember the story and take the sounds in that story to produce your paradigms. I really hope this system is helpful for you and helps you remember your non-indicative regular Koine Greek verbs. Happy Greek study.